On behalf of the Ambassador of Mexico, Armando Alvarez, that, uh, who is currently presented credentials in Papua New Guinea, uh, let me talk very briefly about uh, Mexico's experience as first MICTA coordinator. The foreign ministers of the MICTA countries met for the first time in 25th uh, September in 2013 in New York under the initiative of the Secretary of Foreign Affairs of Mexico, Jose Antonio Meade. As a first step, governments of these five countries agreed to review and update the institutional structure under which their political, economic, and cooperation relationship operates. The ministers stressed that, as established democracies, they play a constructive role in their respective regions and represent open economies that promote free trade and foreign investment. The ministers of foreign affairs of MICTA met for the second time in April 2014, this time in Mexico City. The discussions revolve around global issues of common interests and strategies to promote their bilateral and multilateral relations. This included the situation in Syria, Ukraine, and the Korean Peninsula, as well as other global issues of common interest, such as the post-2015 development agenda, cyberspace security, climate change, human rights, and migration, and the need to reform the United Nations Security Council. Furthermore, and with the objective to incorporate the academic sector in these activities, an academic network was created where prestigious universities and research centers of each country could participate, like today we are here. This commitment was materialized with the first MICTA academic seminar held in Mexico City in August 2014 at the Matias Romero Institute. During the event, academics from MICTA countries reflected on the potential of this platform to strengthen cooperation and economic exchange, as well as discussing strategies for public diplomacy. The work of MICTA. MICTA has three specific objectives. The first one, to strengthen bilateral relations and political dialogue between its members. The second, to promote consultation and coordination on common interest multilateral issues, including the G20 and the United Nations, in order to contribute to find solutions to major global challenges. Third, foster joint cooperation projects. To achieve this, the foreign ministers of the five countries have decided to meet under the MICTA framework at least three times a year. The first meeting is held in the country coordinating the mechanism, currently the Republic of Korea, previously Mexico, and the next year will be Turkey. The second is held under the framework of the General Assembly of the United Nations, and the third is at the end of the year during the G20 summit. The fact that those responsible for the foreign policy of these emerging countries, also known as constructive powers, meet steadily and follow up on the main issues of bilateral relations, helps to strengthen and increase the significance of these relations. As a first step, it has been proposed that the mechanism political consultations take place at the ministerial level. In this sense, they have instructed their ambassador, ambassador especially in the G20 countries, to conduct joint activities with prestigious academic institutions as ANU. The foreign ministers have also decided to promote cultural exchanges by taking important art exhibitions to other MICTA countries, such as the Diego Rivera exhibition, Pride of Mexico, that opened last month in Seoul, 
Additional forums on joint economic development have been planned with the participation of leading businessmen. The five foreign ministers have made joint declarations on the Korean Peninsula, the downing of flight MH17 of Malaysia Airlines, and Ebola and global health. To help foster cooperation projects, MICTA has initiated exchange programs for diplomats and journalists who are gathered here today. Welcome. Furthermore, consider that young people are a key group the development of human capital, short state programs for young leaders has been established. As part of future plans is to increase the number of joint agreements and scholarships award and to possibly establish a MICTA scholarship program. MICTA might be a recent initiative, which is still under construction and constant development but its first results are already perceptible. As the saying goes, if you want to go fast, walk alone. If you want to go far, walk together. And what better way to travel with these countries that decide to do so voluntarily with strengthening the relationships and seek benefits for global governance? Thank you.